Hey everyone, so this is going to be another day in my life video in Japan. We did a kimono rental that day and it was really, really fun. So I'm going to kind of show you guys what we did and where we went around with our kimonos. It was actually pretty comfortable to walk in and I do have a history of having a bad back. So this really did help my posture. There we go. I can see myself better. Okay, so I already told you guys where we were and I'm going to kind of show you guys what we're wearing. Hi. You look cute. We're also, we're like between them, but this area is really famous. Like oh, sometimes cool. I feel like dramas here, especially down this way and on that bridge that's famous. I see. So we just finished taking pictures. A lot of people asked us to take pictures with them, which I was really shocked about. Worried about like my makeup today. I was like, oh, it does not look good at all. But it was such a stupid worry. Just one of those days, you know, it's a process. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, you shouldn't be worried about your looks. But some of the time that is a worry of mine and I just take it too seriously. But we just had a really good experience. Hey! Oh, that's Christina! Oh, that's Christina! Okay, so we've made it. We made it. There's so many pigeons out here, you guys. It's... Oh. You better watch out. It's Attack of the Pigeons. There's lots of street food around. So, near the Yasaka Shrine, there are tons of street vendors and also food stands. So, if you want to get a bite to eat, this is the perfect place. And there were also other people that were wearing kimonos as well. So, if you are interested in renting one, this would be a good place to go to. After doing some sightseeing, we went over to a famous coffee shop in Kyoto, which is called Percent Arabica, which I'm not sure if I said that right, but a lot of people come here and it just has a really nice aesthetic on the inside. It's very clean and just, it's really cool looking. So I didn't feel like having coffee at that moment, but I did get myself a lemonade. After that, it was time to return the rental and we were so hungry so we went to this really awesome spot that Christina mentioned and it was super cheap. This entire meal was only for $7.80. It's really awesome so yeah, we had a really good day. And that is it for this super short vlog. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what we did that day whenever we did the kimono rental. I do have a lot more Japan videos coming out for you guys so stay tuned. I'm just trying to edit all of them before I go to Tokyo tomorrow. so. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I love you guys, and bye.